We all gon' eat. Grind till we gotta go to sleep. Why do niggas always wanna talk beef? Cause they never see a nigga in the streets. I be just coolin'. I don't really fuck with nobody, but if I came out, I'd probably fuck up the party. I'm just coolin'. I don't really fuck with nobody, and if I came out, I'd probably fuck up the party. Okay, so. Show them the cup. Sip it. Show them the cup, what it says. Move your fingers. Welcome to another episode of Queso. <sighs> <laughs> Taste it. Jose got me in here drinking champagne. No, Cruz wanted champagne to celebrate his birthday. That's going to be this Monday. 31st. I'm lit already. How's it taste? I'm lit. How's it taste? I'm not a drinker. How's it taste? It's sweet, huh? That is for real. It's How's sweet. It taste? Yeah. Huh? I told you it tastes like juice. It don't taste like nothing, huh? Cruz doesn't drink, by the way. If y'all all. haven't seen the last episodes, Cruz doesn't drink. Anyways, he doesn't do nothing. This is my wife, our special guest today. Our first uh, female guest. First female. You got to turn up for that. <laughs> first, first female, female guest. guest. Dang. Woo! I wish Pray I could clap right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, today's episode, it'll be put out when I turn 31. So I'm doing this for my birthday. You know, shout out my boy Jose. Shout out my wife, you know. <laughs> you know? Um, That's why we're drinking. We're going to get drunk, dude. We're getting faded, fool. Getting I'm, drunk. I'm no, faded already. One. Look at my legs, fool. I'm <laughs> drunk, fool. <laughs> faded and elevated. After one sip. <laughs> Today's topic is... What's the topic, Jose? Uh, what's the worst thing that has what's happened? What's the worst thing that has happened? In your 20s? In your 20s. And what's the best thing that's happened to you in your 20s? I'm turning 31, so oh I'm no God, longer in my 20s. Yeah. I'm no longer in my 20s, my boy. You know? Well, I guess last year I wasn't. Yeah, last my... year I wasn't. I'm, this is my last couple of months in my 20s. I know. Yeah. That's, that's oh. It's just so fitting because my wife's a senior citizen. How old are you, Erica? I mean. 40. Yeah. <laughs> For real? Have to... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I'm 34. She's older. I will than be thirty five in October. Actually, are you sure you're thirty four? Sometimes October, I don't remember. October what? Second. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're like I'm Ava and Brown. Stephanie. Mm-hmm. All the first week of October, or Stephanie's technically like the second week. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll That's be thirty five. That's crazy, boy. All right. So what's the worst thing that happened to you in your twenties? You tell. You say it. Because I supposedly I talk too much. So I'm gonna have Cruz. Hey, Jose be hogging the mic, don't he? No, I just like to right, talk. I got, the worst I got thing? to say. What's the oh, worst yeah, you thing go first. that happened to you, ladies? First, yeah. The worst I'm, thing that happened to you in your twenties. Worst thing that's happened to you in your twenties. I mean, I'm or thirty. No, we'll do worst first. Okay, worst first. The go worst ahead. thing. Yeah, and then we'll go to best. You better say it's Cruz. <laughs> Come on, man. You ain't gotta do all that, boy. I mean, honestly, it probably just relationship wise. Relationship. The worst wise. relationship mm. I've ever been in. Was it in your twenties? Yeah. Dang. Literally from like age twenty three maybe to twenty six. Yeah. One of my worst relationships was in my twenties. For sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm still in my twenties, but it was like my early mid twenties. Yeah, mid twenties. It was young, in my mid twenties. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the best thing? Well, I'm sipping. Slowly. Best thing now. What's now? I feel like now I'm well, in you're my... you're 34. <laughs> yeah, but actually now I feel like I'm No, in... the best thing in your 20s. What's not the best thing in my 20s? In your 20s. In your 20s. That would probably be when I got my Damn. passport, when I got to work, when, when I got, got my citizenship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you got your citizenship Oh, that was in my 30s, 30s, huh? But, you know. Probably when I just got my Or a visa? Passport. You got a visa to work? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is That's what's up. Yeah. All right, Jose. You go first. All right. The worst thing in my 20s would have to be losing people to death. Because mm-hmm. that's when I lost my grandma and all mm-hmm. that. And I lost a lot of people in my 20s. So, what was the best thing? The best thing, I don't know. Probably moving to Arizona. Yeah, moving to Arizona. Not Washington? Moving to Arizona. No. <laughs> no, I like Washington. Yeah. But Arizona is like we have a family and then we actually start progressing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because in Washington, I feel like I was progressing, but it was a lot slower. Yeah. But it was like I got into cutting hair, but it didn't really take off until I got out here. You got your license mm-hmm. in Washington, right? Yeah. 
That's crazy. Yes, sir. Did you feel like you were progressing in Washington or not? No, I felt like everything was hard in Washington. But doing? she looks at Washington like I look at Iowa because she's mm-hmm. from. Oh, but you, yeah, you yeah, grew up I there. Grew up oh, okay, there. yeah, I forget mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. So, what, so were you, what were you working in Washington? Oh, I had so many jobs. Yeah, I worked at Circle K. For real? Yeah, my first job though was McDonald's. Really? Yeah. Damn, I worked at Burger King. <laughs> I worked at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. That's no, but that I feel like that really taught me a lot because that taught me how to be a multitasker. It For taught me to be fast, efficient. Mm-hmm. So should and you then, work drive through? Did you work drive through? I worked drive through and counter at the same time. Oh man, because they were fast. so short staffed. High pressure. Yeah. How was it like working at Circle K? I've always wanted to ask the Circle K workers how they how do you like working here? Jeez. It's it's so weird because now when I see like even like QT, mm-hmm. it's very similar. You're working two registers at one time. Mm-hmm. But you have to be able to do that. Well, I would do that with mm-hmm. Circle K, even though they wouldn't let you. Yeah. Because we would always be like so short staffed. It would just be like me. I feel like it's always short yeah. staffed. Yeah. Facts. But I mean, that one too, like it taught me different personalities. How to talk to in, people. Yeah. How to read people. Yeah. That's for sure. Boy. Crackheads. Yes. Boy. Get yeah. them in and get them out. Because yeah. half the time. It was my homies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. now, shoot, now it's Circle K. I just want to Circle K today. They just have a scanner. Hey, mm-hmm. I hate it, bro. They just have a scanner. It's so weird. It's like, I don't know how to make sure I get gas. I don't want to, like, you how do you get gas? Well, gas I do at the pump. It's, the, it's when you buy something, you put it there, and the machine scans it, and you mm-hmm. just pay. Bro, it don't have you scan nothing. It just scans the whole counter. It's crazy. Yeah, it is weird. It's wild. Like, it's, it, makes the, it makes me think, like, these people are getting paid for nothing. Just to restock shit. Yeah. And say, hi, how you doing? Yeah. That's crazy. They don't be cashing nobody out. No, not really. First time I had Walmart. to do that, I was so confused. I was like, what the hell? For, I was what, confused Where's too. the scanner? <laughs> they was like, oh, you got this, this, and this. This is how much it is. I'm like, damn. Yeah, but you can only use card at those. Just like like most of the self-checkouts, you can only use card at those mm. little self-scanners. How old were you when you lost your grandma? Damn, I don't even know. I was like, because I moved to Washington at 22. Mm-hmm. I had to be 23, 24, yeah, somewhere around 24. there. 24. I think so. Somewhere around there. How'd you deal but with it? My grandma was the one that, like, on my dad's side, she actually, like, all my life, she tried to make up for my dad being gone. Yeah, she's the one that like. Yeah, yeah. So she held everyone together. She's the one you checked your sister about. No, no. That's my that's my mom's mom. This oh, is okay. my dad's, dad's grandma. Mom. It ain't even my dad's mom. It's my dad's. Oh, grandma. so it's your great grandma. Yeah. Oh. And my great grandma's been there since ever like day one. That's like crazy. my great grandma, she bought my prom suit, all that. I was really? gonna go to prom. Yeah. That's and my crazy. dad was out of prison the whole time. I never so knew. Like, I never knew my great grandma. That's crazy. I only I remember when I was little. She was already old, like couldn't yeah. move, couldn't nothing. I remember her funeral, and that's it. And see, that's, that's my no great re- grandma on my mom's side. I didn't have no relationship with her. Yeah, yeah, or my great grandpa. No relationship. See, I just knew my grand my grandparents. Yeah, that's crazy. She bought your suit, your prom. We just talked about prom. I know. <laughs> neither one of y'all went to prom. That's I didn't. Yes, I prom. did. Did you? I snuck to prom. You're that Jose. You snuck in. You're the yeah. only one now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's a I little. Did. She's trying to be a little hyena. No, I told I told my mom hyena. that I was going to my friend's house to sleep over, and I borrowed one of her dresses and went to prom in Washington. Mm-hmm. That's wild. That's ghetto. My yeah. cousin. I wasn't impressed. My cousin's ex <laughs> is from Washington, and them Mexican fools are wild. They all got yeah. accents, huh? Not. I'm, I don't remember that. I just know they're wild. They got some accents. They're wild. They're down. Mm-hmm. They're down. Mm-hmm. They're like, the that's a different hell. type of Mexican for over there. Yeah. And that's just fucking insane. Compared to over here, we're chill as fuck. Y'all, you, bro, you guys don't have accents, a lot of y'all. Like, no, well, not well, hard I'm from here. <laughs> this shit's crazy. From Chandler, Arizona. <laughs> this shit's crazy. Hey, so what's the worst thing to happen to you in your 20s? The worst thing was losing my grandma. Hey, and this is my mom's, mom's mom? mom. Okay. Yeah, losing my grandma. Yeah, it was Ava was not even I think Ava was barely one. So I was like 25, 26. Yeah. Okay. I lost my grandma. And that was like the first big loss in my immediate family. Yeah. And yeah, I remember dealing with it. It was crazy. 
Because I remember going to the viewing and everybody was crying, but I was just chilling. And then one day I was single, so I was just by myself at the apartment with Ava. And then I just broke down. It was crazy. It just hit me like all at once. That's how it is. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah, like even my mom. I think my mom like would ask me like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And then just boom. It just broke. It broke, bro. It was fucking wild. Man. I was like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> I saw like a girl. <laughs> Didn't, I couldn't control my, my hormones. <laughs> yeah, and I think honestly, and I think the best thing that's ever happened to me in my twenties was having Wolf. Mm. Having Ava. Being naive. Having Ava. Ava's my favorite. I always tell people this. I don't know Wolf that Messed well. Up. I don't know. Wolf. I'm not I, Ava. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that joke I tell Steph. She fucking hates it. <laughs> no, I think having having Wolf because of the whole situation. Me and Stephanie were in. Like she got pregnant. We weren't together. But she didn't say, you know, we're having this baby. We're going to be together. She let me choose. Mm -hmm. And I, she gave me like a whole, it felt like a week. It was like a weekend, week type thing. And then having mm. Wolf really made me buckle down. Because when I had Ava, I was single and I was still wanting to go out, wanting to do all that. But having Wolf is like when I just chilled and just focused on my family. Dang. Yeah. It was crazy. Dang, your family, man, though. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Did you always want to be a family man? Faded. I never really thought about it. Mm. Like this dude, how he talks about, like he always wanted to be a yeah. husband. And I never thought about it. My parents, my mom always asked me for when, when I'm going to have kids as soon as I turn 20. She was like, when are you going to have kids? When are you going to have kids? But I I thought for sure I was only going to have girls. Because how they say women womanizers only have girls or some bullshit. Have you heard of that? Are no. you a womanizer? <laughs> huh? Are you a womanizer? Dude, no, but my, oh my God, my that is probably so true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say any names, but dad? I think that's a little true. <laughs> huh? That's, that's probably a little true. Yeah, I've heard that yeah. all my life. Woman, like, like womanizers just have nothing but girls because it's God punishing them for what they mm -hmm. did to women. So I yeah. thought, um, like, when Stephanie was pregnant with Ava and before we knew the sex, I'm like, it's a girl. I'm not, I'm not even going, it's a girl. I know it's going to mm -hmm. be a girl. And fair enough, it was Ava. And then having Wolf, I was fucking blown. I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah. Dang. Mm -hmm. What if you had two girls right now? That'd be the same. Either way, the youngest one is going to give you hell. Yeah. Either way. No. I feel Ava's more crazy. Well, because she's a girl. But I she's think. the oldest one. Yeah. The Ava's youngest the oldest one, one is going to tear shit up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Wolf, Wolf just doesn't listen. Yeah. He doesn't listen. Bro, look at me. Then there's Mike, right? My brother. I can't keep wow. track of your family tree. Wow. I know. And yeah. then there's the rest of them niggas. They all crazy. Yeah, because like... I'm the only sane one. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, Wolf is fucking... I always tell people this story. I'll be dead asleep. He slams the door slams the door open, goes and slaps me, and then does a Power Ranger pose, and then walk, runs off. And then it's like 6.30 in the morning. I'm like, you motherfucker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And I just make sure Ava doesn't wake up, and I go beat Wolf's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to beat that boy ass like that? Nah, I really don't beat him up. But he's for real like that type of little kid where like, if you spank him, he'll hit you back. Mm. If, he, if you yell at him, he'll yell at you. If, you. if he sees me, if he sees like Steph, like me and Steph play fighting, he'll come and like hit me because he thinks I'm being mean to his mom. All that type of shit. And Ava, Ava's just chill. Ava's a girly girl. She, I feel like she's like April. Because yeah. April's the one too, that will slap the shit out you and run. Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. Ava wants to do everything, pour her own milk, pour, pour, make her own food. No, that's I can do this, I can do this, sure. I can do this, I can do that. She'll not do nothing, but she wants to do it. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's, I guess that is April. Yeah, that is April. Yeah, and then Ava has that attitude already. Ava yeah. has this. She has to wear a bow every time that she goes to school. Dang. Has to get her hair done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's bougie. Bougie. Dang. She wants to wear this color today. She wants to take her purse. She wants to do this. <laughs> yeah. Not... Wow. Yeah, she does all that Preschool? shit. Preschool? Like that? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. All the time. I'm just like... That's, like, that's like... when they're forming their personality. It's when they get into preschool. Like, all right. I don't know. My kids been mean all my life. Your kids? For sure. But who raised them? Erica. Know. Erica. I don't know who raised them. I barely know y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. April is like the spitting image of you, but in the personality. 
I remember. So Erica, how, how does it feel to be married to me? Is that the topic? <laughs> That's the topic. There's no topic. Sure. It's just conversation. Yeah, we oh. just have conversation. No, let me uh, let me ask you this. I've always, I've always wanted. He should be asking that. No, I've always wanted to know. She loves me. Bro. I wanted to know this because Cruz has so many stories, and we always talk about stories and crazy stories we have with our wives. How'd you meet Cruz? Oh my God. Like, how'd you meet him? I knew you were obsessed with him from the beginning, but how'd you meet him? <laughs> you feel me? That's what he says. No, I actually could not stand no, him in the oh, beginning. Oh, no, he did say that. He did say yeah. it, but then he kept bugging you. No, the real story is... Tell the story, First girl. of all, I'd only been single for like six months mm-hmm. out of that relationship with the, you know. Mm-hmm. Then my friends wanted to go out. Back home, there's like only three clubs. Yeah. So we went to this club that this everybody was out? goes to. Yeah, bro, you were out. Oh, my brother used to out. go out every weekend, bro. And yeah. the, one, the one that came and visited? No, no. I got an older brother in Washington. The barber? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so. You so went I out? went out. I didn't want to go out. I wasn't even going to go out because I don't like to go out to clubs. Uh-huh. So I w- ended up going out. Uh-huh. And actually, it was somebody else there because I see, I did see him, uh-huh. but I you looked at him me. and then looked away. Uh, First of all, because so he she was looking at someone else, and you were just no, I was looking at nobody. I wasn't trying to look <laughs> at anybody. Like uh huh. You <laughs> actually were standing like that. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. What? And you were just staring at me. <laughs> oh wow! But I was like, he was over there, and I'm standing over here with my friend, or I was sitting down, uh-huh. and I saw him, but then I just looked away because first of all, he was with his brother. It was y'all too. Yeah. Yeah. My brother be and like their little crowd. <laughs> yeah, that boy be. I went to school with his brother, old, and I have never had like, I never heard good good things. So womanizer. Yeah. Yeah. So he just being immediately <laughs> when I, I saw it. him with him, I'm thinking he's the same thing. Yeah. And I hate when girls always do that shit. Yeah, girl. girls. But you don't. Do yeah, no, but you have to know Tri Cities though, because back home in Tri Cities, everybody th- sleeps with everybody. Everybody uh, knows everybody. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even talking about. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. So, anyway, I saw him there, but I didn't really pay attention to him. Then I we left that night. The next morning, I got a message on Facebook. Messenger. He found you on Facebook? Yeah. That fast? <laughs> Bro, that's creepy, dog. Look, look, I'll that's be on uh, creepy. Demon time. That's creepy. I think it's because our time. friends were friends with each other. No, how'd you so find her? Friend, her how'd friend, you find her that fast? Her friend, my brother introduced her me to friend? her <laughs> like the week before. Uh huh. And he was oh, like, you oh, met her is, the week before? This is so and so. Blah, blah, blah. Well, she did a little bit. Oh, what up? <laughs> yep. Walked away. Then um, Eric goes with her the next weekend. I was like, Know that girl. Let me go through my brother's friends list. Why didn't find you go that talk girl. To her? And then, cuz I was building up my confidence, <laughs> right? And as soon as you walk, as soon as I look left, up, she gone. gone. Yeah. No, I know, cuz it was some other guy that you knew that tried to come and talk yeah. to me. And I. We didn't even talk about him. Man. Yeah, Damn. I was not trying to talk to him. So, that's how we met. So, look, this is what I did. I said, look at that girl over there. Damn, I'm gonna go introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up, ain't it? Never did. She hit that nigga with, boy, I got five kids. Yep. I sure did. I said, I have five kids. I, I think I told you I have a lot of debt. Oh, at the no. time, I was like, I have a lot of debt. I got five kids. I still think it's crazy to this day that Cruz just accepted all of that yeah. at 22? 22, 22 turning 23. That's fucking wild. Dark. 22. That's no, for wild. real. And all my family, Bro, too, our, was like, I met Erica mm-hmm. August 2nd. Yeah. Right? Started dating we got a month together later. <laughs> September second. Mm-hmm. You know, but then y'all had it. Next y'all thing had, you y'all know, had your back and forth for a little bit. No, right? Uh, not really. No. I mean, no. That was that, that was that first month of August when you guys broke up and then got back together type shit. That was when we were uh, already dating. Yeah, that was somewhere. We broke there. up for a week. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know what I did? I'm Please sorry. come back. I'm sorry. You know what's so crazy though? I'm no, sorry. now now it's like I get it because that was. Probably like November of that year. Mm-hmm. We were only together for a couple months, and he was in school. Yep. For Barber school. school. For yeah. Barber school. I was living in Connell, which was 30 minutes away from him. 45, mm-hmm. to be exact. Yeah. And then he was working and going to school. Mm-hmm. Me, I was just working. I never got to see him all the time. Like, I would always have to go drive to go see him every you didn't weekend. You car? No. no. When we met, we both didn't have a car. I would borrow my mom's shit. car. Anybody's well, I would car. I borrow my brother's SRT. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
An SRT cut. That's wild. Yeah. You know? And then from there, y'all just said, fuck it. We're together. Made well, it work. She, she wanted to move into town, and I uh, I needed to move on my brother's house. So he oh, you live with him? Yeah. He used that as an excuse, in just in case huh? you're wondering. What? what? He needed somewhere to live, so. Yep. I needed somewhere to live. So I said, you got kids? That means we getting taxes. <laughs> Let me move in. And then, we, no, we looked for an apartment. Bro, what was, what was for real your thought process at 22 and accepting five kids? Like, Why? This is what I said to myself. Like, my mama got five kids. I don't care. That's it? Yes. That's some Actually, black shit. Actually, you did tell me that, though. That's, <laughs> some, <laughs> that's some black shit. Bro. It's black as hell. No, I would have been mama like, got, five? You got my five? My mama got a kid. I don't care. Bro, at 22, I'd be like, I could do with two. But five? That's wild. At well, and keep in mind, my three weren't even, like, in the same state. But it's just knowing. For me, it was always knowing, well, if you want me, then you have to want all five of my kids, too. Yeah, because they they're with not me, just going to go away. Yeah. Yeah. So his mom would, like, message me and stuff, too, and be like, I don't know if he knows what he's gotten himself into. Well, your mom like, was trying to get him. She blocking, bro. Your mom trying to <laughs> get him. She hate him, bro. And I was like, he well, I already told Jesus. him. He needs Jesus. He's out here in the streets in the SRT. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Jose. I don't like you either, <laughs> god damn it. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's what my mom said. I don't like Jose. Why? I said one joke to Jose's her. Jose's wild. And she didn't like it. He made jokes about Christians. I made one joke oh. about about Christians. It was on the spot, and I thought it was funny. And, and you know how my mom is. Mm-hmm. Sit your ass down. God forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Dang. So yeah, that's how we met Jose. And then what made you move to Arizona was your other kids were in Tucson? I always wanted to move back to Arizona. Like, I did not want to stay in Washington away from them. Because I already went through so much shit without being, like, close to them. Mm -hmm. So I always wanted to come back. And I knew that they wanted me here Mm -hmm. to be close to them. So, Mm -hmm. like, there would be so many times when I would just cry to him and be like, I need to move where they are. And we weren't in the financial, like, position to do that. For a long time, and then finally he was like, "Okay, let's go." Because we moved to Iowa first, oh, and I felt so that guilty about terrible. that, like moving so you there. Went to Washington, and then y'all met, got together, moved to moved Iowa. Back to Iowa. I yeah. looked at it like, okay, we'll probably have more money. It's probably cheaper to travel. There's barbers out there making a lot of money, like more than we make here. How was it when you moved back? It was terrible. Why? I had to go back to barber trauma. school after I had a license already. I had to go back to barber school. Oh, because it wouldn't transfer? Because, no. The, so, Washington is like 1,200, 1,100 hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Iowa was 2,100 hours. 21? 21. So, you had to basically so do I another had to round of school? Do 1,000 hours, yep. That's wild. And then, before I even finished, I was like, man, I can't do this. I, I was getting into it with my family. I fought my sister. Yeah. Then I moved back to Washington. Like, you know what? They love me out here. So you moved Washington. to Washington, back to Iowa, back to Washington. Mm-hmm. Now yep. you're here? Yep. Then mm-hmm. I moved here. Yeah. God damn. I moved back to Washington in 2018. Yeah. And I moved here twenty the end of 2019. So what made you leave Washington? Well, because it was that reason? Because you want to be with your kids? For me, it was I wanted yeah. to. I, well, first, I always let my kids are here, number one. Mm-hmm. But I've always loved living here. I lived here before. So you used to live in Tucson. So uh, Tucson. when it used to be good. Teaching, so. Yeah. Tucson's so. old. Jose don't like Tucson. He thinks he's too good for Tucson. Is that crazy? No, I, I don't like Tucson, Tucson either. Period, pull. It's not what it used to be. Mm-mm. I, don't, I would never move back to Tucson. Wow. You don't like Tucson either? No. Tucson's it's lit. ghetto. I don't mean that. <laughs> I don't mean that. I hate Tucson. Yeah, I'm like, I've only driven past Tucson and it's terrible. I stayed there for a little bit, I guess, a weekend. I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not the move at all. It's not. That's crazy. So yeah, y'all yeah. just moving, and then obviously you have baby April, yep, and then toddler Asia, just up and down with you. Yep, mm-hmm. that's wild. I can't imagine that shit. It's crazy, bro. It is crazy. And then we, it's crazy because we got like food stamps and all that shit. We're we homeless. Yeah. Yep. We we had um we had food stamps and all that shit in I or in Washington. Where were you homeless? When she lost her visa. Mm-hmm. I was in school. But where in Iowa? In no, in Washington. When we got our first apartment, yeah, we lost our first apartment because I lost my visa. So you couldn't work. I couldn't work. And then you weren't so getting then, clients. No. I just it just wasn't getting... enough. Uh, yeah, so that, was... you know what's crazy though? Back then, what was our rent like? Eight ninety two. 
Oh, yeah, back then. For a two-bedroom, two-bath. Yeah, back yeah. then it was cheap. And we couldn't afford it. That was wild. I never That's knew that. That's so crazy. Yeah. And compared to where you guys are now, yeah. you're fucking chilling. Facts. Straight chilling. But what? even then, it's like we always feel like we need, or at least I do. You know, I'm, I'll be chilling. Man. He's one, like, fine. I'm always like, I need more progression. I always feel like I have to have change. Facts. You know? I used to be, I used to be that exact same way. But then after I started, I had this uh, conversation with one of my clients. He told me, he's like, what's your dream? I'm like, oh, to take care of my kids and have a house. Mm-hmm. He's like, all right, well, do you make enough money to do that? Yeah. It's like, okay. Uh, does your job let you be there for your kids? I'm like, yeah. He's like, so you are where you want to be right now. You're just not looking at it. So sometimes you just, like, there's a lot of times I'm, like, sitting back. Even right now where I live with uh, my in-laws, I sit back and chill and see Ava having fun. You know, mm-hmm. Stephanie's having a good time talking with my sister, and I'm just chilling and watching TV. There's way there's people out there that have it way fucking worse. Facts. Yeah. That's facts. And it's crazy to think. That's like, facts. you, like, you're about to do esthetician. Like, your shit's about to fucking change. Mm-hmm. It's fucking going to be insane. This was already thinking about how to spend the money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, facts. But, like, but this like, already spent in my head for the first year. But then, like the way the way he's hustling right now is how like I thought about when I was in school or when I was going to school. Like I was working two jobs, no car, up and taking my mom to work, taking my sister to school. So it's like it's cool to see that other people are going through this just to have, just to see how you're gonna be in like two three months. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be making so much money, and then you're gonna be like. Bothering him to just keep moving up, moving up, moving up. I know. That's actually what my... Just that's, enjoy it. No, that's actually what my boss now tries to tell me. Mm-hmm. Like, I think to make me think... Because I feel like she knows either way I wouldn't be happy staying where I'm at with her. Mm-hmm. But to move on, she's always like, but what would actually... Like, what would be your... Like, basically, what would be enough for you? Mm-hmm. Because even if she paid me more, like, would that make me happier? And I was like, no, because I'm not working for myself. I'm working for you. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, okay, well, if you're working for yourself, like, what's going to be the maximum that you'll be happy at making? You know, like, when is it going to be enough? No. (laughs) But I just know, like, I just, for me, it's I want to be able to be, like, I personally want to be the provider. I don't want for him to just be the provider. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, my mom was the provider. Mm -hmm. So for me, it always... Like, ask him. I'm always doing something. I always mm-hmm. feel like I have to be. Yeah, he always says you move around the house and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, her ass don't sit down. No. You got a headache? Lay down. But the Wait, way, I'm just cleaning this. The way I try to make Stephanie think, I'm like, I'm on your team. Like, Facts. we're a team. Facts. I don't care if I make more money or or you make less money. I don't look at I don't look at it like that because there's no providing. It's, it's the kids mm-hmm. have what they need. Then that's all I give a fuck about. You're hungry, babe? Order food. Like, she just ordered food right now. I looked at it. I'm like, God damn, these people are eating all my fucking money. <laughs> but I know it's going to feed everybody, and I know I'm not worried about it because, like, we make good money. And then, nice. like, you'll see once, like, you become an esthetician, especially, like, we talk about it all the time, like, how much waxers actually make. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. It's so dumb. Bro. Way and that's like, us. and then, like, as soon as I'm you. I'm trying to be a stay at home dad. As soon as, you, <laughs> as soon as you build that clientele, bro, it's going to be like, for example, like I know this girl, she became I think she's an esthetician, but she, uh, and she does eyelashes. Yeah. She already went from like a couple months to having her own studio, now having her own product. Now her and her husband are literally building one of these. Yeah. And it's just like boom, That's boom, what I boom, want. boom, boom, boom. But it can happen so fast. Yeah. But all you gotta do is have a fucking open mind, take everybody, and never say no to mm-hmm. in the first few years. Mm-hmm. Facts. After a while, like you can choose and pick your clients because mm-hmm. some people are just bad business. Yeah. But that shit's like... That's fact. That's wild. That's crazy to think that you guys were homeless. Yeah. I, then, but that's why I fight for so girl, much more. She lost more. her visa yeah. twice. Yeah. It's crazy. We've had, it's been rough. And I didn't, you know, me coming into the situation, I never even met Hispanics like that before. <laughs> so I'm like, you lost it, your visa? Yeah, it gets... <laughs> call your bank. It gets rough, bro. <laughs> oh. No, it's rough. I was rough. like, nigga, what? How much? It's to the point where... S- uh, like in my family, us the nephews are having to be uh, what is it like called? Like a petitioner. Kind of to yeah. our aunts. Yeah. My mom literally asked me a couple months ago, "Would you be willing to do this for your aunt?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. But then she's like, "Well, it's almost like you're taking full uh, responsibility. Responsibility. If yeah. anything goes down, 
And I'm crazy. like, fuck. That shit's wild. <laughs> and, then that someone, shit and, and, then, and then this is someone like who basically like not raised me, but you know, that's my aunt. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of, it's fucking wild. That shit's crazy. That's why I try to tell people like all that. That's a whole different topic though. I, I was about to get, I was yeah, about to get, I was about to get a whole so different deep. topic. Dang. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. No, seriously. They were cause homeless, I, bro. Yeah. Went to Iowa. I couldn't. I just couldn't live there no more. Like people were doing the same shit we did in high school. Yeah, I hear. I even hear that about like yeah, basically where your hometown is. Even here, I'm from yeah. here. There's still some dudes trying to stunt, wearing Mitchell and Ness snapback still, just trying to have that house, big ass house that they're renting and just to yeah. flaunt it. Mm-hmm. When it's like, bro, no one gives a fuck about that at all. Just worry about your fucking kids. At all. <laughs> just worry about your kids. That's facts. And yeah. People don't. People don't do that. I think that's they so crazy. Worry. Hey, shout out my boy Bryce. He just had a baby. Oh my god! My boy I Bryce just had a daughter. Ooh. Also, wait. That's his first kid. That's his third. Yeah. Oh okay. damn, man, you're good. <laughs> 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 I thought that was your first. You having your first one's a, d- a girl. Dude, since we're giving shout-outs, I want to shout out Javier. Shout out Javier. Javier, bro. Who's Javier? He's my crazy ass uh, oh. friend. I told you about. He's the epitome of why Mexican Raider fans should not have money. <laughs> Dude, this, no, this guy is fucking crazy. He's been there. He's thick and thin, wild. And he actually just texted me today about watching the last podcast. And I'm like, damn. Bro. People appreciate me, dude. You know what's, what's crazy? <laughs> that, like, I already told you, this guy who passed away recently, he's oh, watching yeah, our yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Comment. That shit is crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, that people actually support us. It's wild. It's crazy. It's but, wild. but then I never think, like, what if one of my clients passes away? That shit, it's crazy to me. Like well, to think something like that. You know what I mean? Well, that's that's like when Gabe passed away. Yeah, that shit was fucking wild to me. Who was Gabe? Gabe. Remember? Is he Gabriel? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Is he Gabriel? Because he was like, bro, when I had when I had any questions about business moves, barbering, anything, yeah, I would text him and talk to yeah. him for like hours. Hours, 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 hours. And then just when I got the news, I'm like, holy shit. I remember I felt so weird about it. I'm like, he meant so much to me where I wanted to get him tattooed. And I even yeah. asked you. I'm like, would it be weird? You're like, why? If you meant that much? So, like, just shit like that. Yeah. That's just, why I can't, I can't imagine being from where you're from and you how how many people mm-hmm. you lost since I've met you. Yep. That's just, I've only lost my yeah. grandma. And that fucked me up. So, I can only imagine. That shit sucks. Mm-hmm. Bro, no, Gabe, Gabe was one of those, like... First person to cut my hair in Arizona. First person to follow me, like so supportive. He was cool. Yeah, he was real cool. So that supportive. Shit's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like that would have been the last person I thought something mm-hmm. would happen. To. So, you never know. Yeah, that was a, that was a tough one right there. Did you know of Gabe? I only like knew of him because he she, would talk about. Never, him. Well, I never we'll actually met him. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. But that shit's but crazy. I feel like I've been. Yeah, I feel like everybody that's passed away though since I was with you when you were twenty two. So many people have passed away. Like, I've literally had to watch. To the point where I, I, there was even a time where I'm like, how do you have so many people pass away? Because I've never lost anybody. Yeah, same. So, the only one I've lost is my grandma. That's it. Mm. And my grandpa's still kicking, being an asshole, walking around. How old's your grandpa? <sighs> Fuck. I don't know. He's old. He's up there. I think he's like 81, 83, oh, wow. something like, like that. my grandma was somewhere around there when... She passed away. Yeah, my grandma and my grandpa were like literally like two days apart. That's crazy as hell. Yeah, that's wild. But I feel like he's still living, bro, because he's that Mexican. My grandpa retired at forty. I just learned this a couple months ago. <laughs> it fucks me up. Being an mm-hmm. adult, can you imagine retiring? It's wild. That is he was, I always thought he had a job. No, that dude was just fucking <laughs> building ca- cattle and killing them, and selling them, and doing all that shit. That shit's wild. He retired at 40. That's mm-hmm. crazy as hell. In Mexico, I think he retired here and then he moved to, back to Mexico. So he came over here, all got all his kids' uh, papers. Yeah. yeah, got himself papers, his white papers, and then he moved back to Mexico. Oh. And my, my mom and everyone stayed here. That's the one that was at your, uh, your daughter's party, right? Mm hmm. That's my only grandpa. Dang. He's the last one I have. Bro, I, I lost my grandpa, what? I went back like a year ago? Mm hmm. Was that a year mm-hmm. ago? Lost him. Um, but I mean, I never had a a father, or grandpa. No, but before that, that it was um, you call him Squeegee. I don't know. 
Oh, Dijon? Yeah. Dijon. Dijon. I mean, it's been so many people. But my grandpa, like, my grandpa on my mom's side, I've never met. He lives in Canada. Yeah, I never. My... I've seen pictures of this man. He's a white dude. <laughs> I've seen he's Lebanese. Bro, hey, did Cruz tell you I'm 5% black? Jose, Jose, dead 5%. ass. Jose, I don't believe I be you. 5%. Hey, shout out to Are my 5 percenters. I'm dead ass. See, when well, I told sister, you, when I told you. My sister did it, but me and my sister have the same mom and dad. Like, how the fuck could shit be that no, different? You, you only got 3% of them genes. Because it's just and a little percentage. It's from the Congos. I asked her yesterday. It's from the Congo, so I'm fucking Ninja right. Warrior Forest fucking dude, bro. <laughs> Remember? The gorilla, no, but... I wish the gorilla would fucking approach me, bastards. <laughs> oh, my God. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Would you do an ancestry thing or what? He did. Yeah, my sister did. His did sister did it. My the sister did 23 and me. I want to do that. But that don't mean so, 5%, right? So, well, no, anyway. Yeah. There's black, Italian, Portuguese, Greek, and Chinese. That boy Kardashian. I want to do that so That bad. boy Kardashian. Stephanie hates that I'm exotic, dog. Why? She's probably rolling her eyes as, as I'm saying this. As she's going to watch this, it's going to roll her eyes. Shout out Stephanie, you know what's crazy? I can see Greek, for sure. People have told me that. People yeah. have... One dude... I cut this one dude. He thought I was South African. You look like an Aztec warrior. Dude. I'm too... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit's so funny. Yeah, Aztec That's the best warrior, Friday. I told you. That's the best Friday. Hey, what y'all think the best Friday is? Cause comment. Comment what the I don't, best Friday I can't is. pick, bro. Two. I can't pick. Two. It's the most quotable Friday we've ever done in here. I Two. say one. <laughs> We do quote that it's shit a lot. It's the most portable one. It has, <laughs> it has Pinky, it has Roach, it has Baby D, it has the, the essays, it has Unk. That's facts. It has everybody. Uncle Elroy. He said, I got five. It has, uh, what's, <laughs> her <name? laughs> what's her name? Uncle Elroy's Who? girl. Who's the girl? Uncle Elroy's girl. Oh, uh, Sugar? Sugar. <laughs> That's all of them. That's the best you one. Shit, okay. It goes two, three, Here, four. What's your favorite Friday? I like one. One? One? Yep. I could watch that every day, all day. Yeah, see, she don't quote movies like us. No. We, we quote the shit we out We quote of movies. I quote more movies than him. He gets mad because I watch a lot of movies. Because they seen every movie I ever heard of. Even Not. movies I never heard of. First of all, we can't even watch a movie without you falling asleep. That's facts. Ten minutes in. You know what I, I give him shit about? This fool was Man. in his house with socks and Birkenstocks with a blanket. You're in your house, fool. Mm-hmm. Just, why are you wearing you shoes? You see how Erica ain't surprised? Because I do that shit. No, I know you do that shit, but that's weird. I told him the You're other day. You're in your day. house, and your yeah. house is carpet. You I a, told him that the other day. I was like, shoes? oh, no wonder our carpet's so dirty, though, because we wear shoes in our house. I pay the bills. I'm going to get a refill. We wear shoes on the carpet. You want a refill? you good. Yes, please. No, we're good. But remember when I was trying to tell you that my brother said I was 2% black, and you thought he no. was joking? 2%. Jose, 2 <laughs> Jose, I call. <laughs> hey, I just call her Jose. What? Erica. Bet you I'm Native American. Erica, for sure. I can see that. Two percent is not gonna show. No, but it's your in sister your blood. look like she fifteen percent. Yeah, and she's so, my sister. I don't know. I don't know. We boy. look exactly the same. Uh, mm. She's a bit darker than me. Oh. Mm. Hey, shout out Happy Dad. Sponsor us. Stop being hoes. Hey. <laughs> Sponsor us, cuz. Sponsor us. Run up. Please. Feliz Navidad. Feliz At Navidad. least 20 people view our shit. At least. <laughs> <laughs> no, we least. got more than that, man. Bro, I I was telling... I, 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 who would I tell? I was telling somebody. I'm like, I've never even thought 10 people would watch our videos. When you know. thought about it. Yep. It's crazy. To we think, out here in these streets. To think that 100 people have seen it, it's wild. I don't even know 100 people. You you only bring it up to all. Hey, you seen our podcast? All your clients, mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of them. No, because when you put it on, as soon as it releases, you guys have a podcast. I'm like, yeah, you don't watch it. <laughs> hey, I swear we've told the same people we got a podcast fifty times. Mm-hmm. I got a podcast. Yeah. Oh, what's the name of it? K so K S O W. K so. So yeah. All right. Let me ask you this. Mm. This is a topic I came up with that mm-hmm. I just pulled out my ass, right? Yep, it's brown. <laughs> Anyways. Dug in with your rounds? If you could say <laughs> one thing to your dad, what would it be? Fuck you. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. That was quick. <laughs> hey, that's it? Next one. That, that's it? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Dang. What really? about you, Erica? You know I don't have a dad. Everybody I literally don't have... No, I really don't. But... Mm. 
Where's I mean, the milk? We, <laughs> <I'm just laughs> I couldn't even talk to him because all he speaks is Spanish. Spanish? Oh, I what, have talked to him. What though. would you I say? I literally would not have anything to say. If he could understand you. I, ha- I would have nothing to say. Dang. Only because I have talked to him before. And I don't feel like there's any kind of. It was just useless, pointless. Yeah, yeah. it's like talking to like a friend. Like, how are you doing? Oh, that's good, great. Like or he, he doesn't never. Really care. No, he doesn't stay. I've I haven't talked to him since. Probably like five years. That's wild. And I mean, like minimal conversation. You know. I haven't talked to my dad since I was seventeen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what about the one time you seen him in traffic? You said, hey, dude, I know oh, you. I told him about that. Oh, shit, there goes my dad. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I just kept going home. <laughs> hey, mom, guess who I seen? I you never guess. Uh, my mom, I think my mom still talks to my dad every once in a while. Does she? Well, because he will bug her. Why? But he has a whole nother life. Why'd he bug her? I don't know. He, he missed that thing. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I really You're don't sick. know. You're what? sick. Shout out to your mom, man. She's a know, nice lady, man. I know Cruz says you're a catfish, man. <laughs> hey, she follows me on Instagram, America. <laughs> oh my God. Like, Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Maria Munoz. That's it. Bro, she was. Who is this? I'm telling you. We, I was were, like, got <laughs> we were going, bro. We were going to the movies to go watch that Dracula movie. And we're just, it was me and my sister in the car with my mom. And I'm like, you know what Cruz said? He said you're a catfish. What's that? Why would he say that? I'm like, because you don't look like your profile page. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm like, mine. No, you don't. <laughs> hey, we, and then I'm like, I ain't the only one who did No, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. This, and then we watched the whole movie. We saw the whole movie. This movie was scary, intense, all that bullshit. We're walking to the car. Why does Cruz think I'm a catfish? <laughs> like, what the? F- you still think about, about that? about it. <laughs> the whole movie, she was like, I'm not no catfish. That's funny as hell. It is what it is. Your, your family's Instagram? funny. Uh, yeah, she followed me. I think it's cool that she's in. I'm, I'm part of the family now. I think mm-hmm. that, I think it's cool that she's in social media, but it's also like I think she like looks too much into it. Yeah, sometimes. Mm-hmm. My mom does too. My yeah. mom will be like, "So what's going on?" Because I saw Avery post something like anything. It could I'm be out of town. Look, anything. Out of town. <laughs> oh my god! And she's like, "What's going on? What's is he okay?" I'm like, Dang. "You need Your to get off Facebook. Facebook." Yes. Dang. Your mom seems nice from like the two seconds that yes. I met her. She's wild. Is My she mom has the biggest heart. She's wild. That's why she took me. No, you should meet the grandma. That's My the grandma's real, that's another the story. One. That's the real one. She loves me, dog. <laughs> My boy. Mm. Your grandma's. Actually, no. You see your dad. You've seen your dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That question doesn't even matter to you. I mean, I don't speak to him. Yeah. But I say, look, I'm good. Because, I mean, I just look at it like, I mean that in a sense of everything that, like, I expected him to do, someone else did. Yeah. And I didn't expect that from them. I expected it from him. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I expected him to get out of, well, this is the thing. So, you got to understand the journey. So, (laughs) my dad went to prison when I was, like, a baby. Yeah. Right? Got out when, did 11 years, got out when I was 11. I kind of provided, like, I would hit him up every day. Because I wanted him to be the I father that I thought he would be. Yeah. But he didn't, I guess he didn't, like, how can I say this? I provided a, a space where he could be this easily, but he didn't want to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I, I made it to where, okay, you can be my dad. All you got to do is answer the phone. Mm-hmm. He didn't do that. And then it gets to a point where as a kid... You grow up and you start to learn, okay, this guy doesn't want to be a father. He just wants to seem like he's a father. You see, that shit That shit would fuck me up more than what I yeah. want to do. Yeah, and, and that's why I'm the way I am now. Yeah. and I, Because it's like, you neglected me so many times, I understand what you did. I don't understand why you did it, but I don't really care anymore. I think also mm-hmm. what changes, like, I, I'm pretty sure you can agree with this. When I became a father, it became an even bigger fuck you. Yeah. Because, like, how can you just... Not even like you tried, but it's also like a shitty try. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, even if like me and Stephanie get divorced, do our thing, or like, you know, whatever, whatever, if it ever happens, I would always make sure my my babies are okay. Facts. Always. Facts. Always. I would even make sure Stephanie's okay. Facts. Because she's the mother of my child. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, that. that's what really like made me, like, as soon as I had Ava, it was like, fuck you. 
Like yep. why? Like how do you like? That makes no sense. It's crazy. It makes yeah. no sense. That like it's wild. It's but it's crazy because it's so normal. You know what I mean? It's so many guys with similar situations. They're as fucking us. Bro, I cut a kid. He's sixteen. Same exact story as you. As me. Same exact story, yeah. bro. My dad just left. We just moved out here. He just walked out. Where's he at? I know where he's at. He just left. Yeah. Like, no, my dad didn't just leave. There was more drama with it. Right. But it's also like. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the same. He was just like, yeah. And then I, I, yeah, it was just different. Right. And then dealing with that, dealing with my mom, dealing with with my sister, and just everything. No more male role models. No right. more nothing. Yep. I just had to deal that's how, with that's how it was. everything, bro. It was fucking horrible. Bro, imagine having to learn shit from your younger brother. Ain't that some shit? Oh, your younger brother? My younger brother. He's two years younger than me. I'm learning shit from him. I'm learning shit from his dad. I got uncles who are not much older than me. Yeah. But I have to learn from them. You yeah. know what I mean? I got it's, an uncle. I got an uncle who he's kind of like a father figure now because he treats me like his son, right. which I really, really respect and admire. Is um, uh, Green Eyes, his dad. Yeah. I know his name for Yeah. Him. Manuel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My boy, I never, guys, I huh? never, I don't want to people to remember. But every time, like, people come around, like, I'll, I would really have that dude's back. I would really do anything for for him and and his family, even though, like, my sister, you know, goes back and forth of, like, having bad relationships with that. Right. But it's also, like, at the end of the day, like, it's just, it's just different. Right. For a male, it's just fucking, it's completely different. It is. Yeah. Like, no matter what my brother's dad does, no matter what people say about him, like, I can't say anything bad about no, him. No, you respect he, it. He, it's respect. He did a lot for me. He yeah. bought me shoes when I didn't have none yeah. as a kid. You and know people, don't, I mean? and like, cool. people don't forget that shit. Facts. At all, That's bro. Facts. I don't forget the littlest of things that people do for me, especially as facts. an adult. Like, it, it's, And it's, it's different because we don't really ask for shit. Nah. So the Not little really. shit, it, it goes a long way. You know yeah. what I mean? And then, like, for Facts. me, respect is huge. Mm-hmm. That's why I have it tattooed on me. I'm a little thug. <laughs> you got respect across your stomach? I wish. What's that one, Bigfoot? Oh, it's a Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got respect right here. <laughs> That's Wolf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got this with Adrian. Adrian has the same one. Does he? Yeah. Dang, yeah. you guys are blood brothers? Yeah. Hey, you shed blood together? Eskimo brothers, man. Hey. Life. Hey, shout out Adrian. <laughs> Boy, Adrian. Come visit us again. No, but, yeah, like, dude, respect. As soon as you lose respect, I feel like it's the same with you. As soon as you lose it, it's fucking gone. Oh, absolutely. It's gone. And it's so hard to come back. Like, what happened this past weekend? That shit's out the window. For me well, and, for, for me and my, mm. my cousin rushed That's me. What, I don't, my older cousin yeah. rushed me. Little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's just so wild. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> I personally wow. love being away from my family, Facts. which my mom always gives me like crap about. Like, oh, you know, if you were here, I'm like, yeah, if I was there, it's just so much drama all the time where people just, I don't know. As someone that's five minutes away right now from my aunt's house, mm-hmm. right now where I'm sitting, I wish I, I wish me and Steph and the kids lived like in Texas or just somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, It's just nice to like actually like. Miss someone and catch up on holidays. Yeah. When it's not like, hey, I just saw you yesterday, bro. Mm-hmm. But it's crazy because, like, when you're away, a lot of people start to miss their family more. And they're like, oh, I'm going to move back. And then they move back and they're miserable. Yeah. yeah. I ain't moving back. Mm-mm. I like, I, like, I ain't I, never moving back. Like, I'm excited for my sister to, like, have a different life outside of Arizona. Because then I tell her, I'm like, you, we actually have somewhere to go. Yeah. Christmas, Thanksgiving, exactly. Easter's, yeah. you know, or you guys can come over here. Yeah. Like, it will actually be, like, somewhat, like... Get away from the craziness of just having literally my family right there. Mm-hmm. And then you know my family. You know what I mean? You guys both know my family. It's fucking, it's always like that. Your mom loves Erica. Bro. I mean. I've never seen someone just invite her over just because, hey, yeah. whenever you guys are around. No, I even told you I was open. like, well, yeah, oh my God. Like, we're all very open, like open, yeah. open house to each other. That's how like, my right family now, when is I left, too, my cousin's, uh, my cousin's daughter, Manuel's daughter is over there. Yeah. It's just, oh, hi, mamas, you know, have fun, go play. And then that's it. Ava, same way. Cousin, my cousin's like, yeah, just bring her over whenever. And she, Ava mm-hmm. would be there for like four hours. <laughs> and he would just be chilling, just watching TV. It's like, and then even when, when I go to my aunt's house, I don't knock on the door. I don't ring the doorbell unless it's locked. Mm-hmm. I just walk in. What's up? I literally <laughs> I walked doing? in, took a shit, got something out the fridge, and came to work. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no, but that really is how it is. That's the part where I'm like, 
like, yes, I know that my family is, like, they'll let anybody come in the family. Like, they're so welcoming. Yeah, open arms. But yeah. my mom's thing is, like, it's almost like sometimes, like, a a guilt trip. Like, oh, well, you're far away. Or, like, well, if you wouldn't have moved away. But honestly, what's crazy is that now that I've moved away and I've been here, what, three years? Almost full. My mm-hmm. mom is the only one that's ever visited me. That's what he always says all the time. Nobody else in my my family's small too. That's mm-hmm. the thing. Mm-hmm. Like I can count them all on my ten hands that mm-hmm. I'm close to. My mm-hmm. ten hands, my ten fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you got but ten hands, boy. Nobody me, else like, has <laughs> ever taken <laughs> the initiative to come and visit me. Everybody's always like, "Well, when are you gonna come? When are you gonna yep. come? When are you gonna come?" For real. So for me, it's like I'm good. If you don't take that Shit. same, I don't care who you are. If, my, like, if any of my cousins move to like anywhere else, hey, bro, I'm gonna be over there. When's a good time to go? This time of year? All right, bet. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get out of here. I hate, I don't like Arizona no more. I hate Chandler. I love Chandler, bro. I, hate, I love it. It's cool for you guys. But it's I was, amazing. I was literally born and raised up and down Chandler mm-hmm. Boulevard. Up and down Arizona app. So you used to it. Fuck yeah! I can't. I hate going to Walmart. I'm gonna see someone I don't know. I I went to Target. Just earlier today, I saw a girl from high school. I'm like, oh, man, this bitch. I'm like, I don't want to see this girl. But right we here. don't have that issue because we don't know anybody. <laughs> I know like everybody. I'm so yeah. happy I don't have that. I mm-hmm. see clients. That's it. I see clients. I saw, like I said, I saw your client last night. Yeah. I always say, what's up to them? Hey. We don't oh, what's, like up? You, what's up, famo? <laughs> man. Oh, what's up? What's up? Oh my God, that's how it was in Iowa when we lived there. Every Bro, time we went I out, he go knew to somebody. The store without seeing a friend, someone I went to high school with. That's how it is. Family out. member. That's how it is out here for us. It's crazy. Yeah, for me at least. Jim? Stephanie always says, "Everywhere we go, you know at least one person." Facts. If I go out, I'm for sure gonna see someone I know. See. Yeah. That's wild. Because it's Arizona. Arizona's so big. Mm-hmm. I was tiny compared to Arizona. So it's Tri Cities, though. Yeah, you guys in Washington. You know, Washington was felt smaller than it really was. Because I cut so many people's hair out there, it was like. Everywhere I went, seen somebody. Um, I would never move back there. Why not? You're not trying to move back? No. You're trying to move to Colorado? If I ever moved, like if I ever moved out of Arizona. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I think. I want to go to Texas. I, ain't going I was going to say, I would. if I ever moved, it would probably Y'all want, be Hey, we can get two Texas. houses on, on one acre. Let me know. <laughs> but that would be like the only reason why I would move there because I've lived there before and I'm not too crazy about it, but because you can get such a nice Houston house for sure. Everybody talks about Dallas though, because it's like the best part of. I just want to go to the Galleria, the mall. It's just so humid. That's the only I thing, love, love and people the there don't have any style. To be honest, <laughs> just wow. like Iowa. That was the thing when we lived in Iowa. I'm like, hey, you hear that flip? You hear that flip? Fashion Nova. What the hell are you talking about? You get big vision gun style. <laughs> No, like I feel new like new. when we moved to Iowa, <laughs> I'm naming like even hey, people's yeah. houses. Jose seen it. Their houses. Jose, tell her about the dude that was striding. Oh, in Iowa. F- bro, this guy was doing lunges up and down the bar, Erica, talking to the talking on the flip phone. I ain't gonna bullshit. I'm pretty sure it was a flip phone, and I'm like, this <laughs> is on <home>, something. <laughs> and, and from what he told me, I'm like, this dude, this dude is from Illinois. He's not even from here. <laughs> yep. Most he, likely. I'm talking the. We were there for four, like nah, we were there for like two hours, but he was striding up and down, up and down the bar. I'm like, this mm. guy's tweaking. pants sagging, pants mm-hmm. sagging to his knees. It was crazy. Yeah. Talking to the flip phone backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he ain't got no yeah. sense. I go live when I tailgated at Iowa at the college game. Everybody was nice as shit. Oh yeah, everybody, everybody was so everybody's nice. Everybody's nice out there. Everybody's cool until they're not. Yeah. And Sorry, I just got a text. You see that? Jose texting on a job. No, it's because Stephanie's birthday, this this October is her 30th. What you getting her? I can't tell you because she's going to watch this video. I know. I just wanted mm. to see yeah. if, you, if you were on Wait, your October what? Uh, fuck. You put me on the spot. I think. Wow. I, 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 just recently, <laughs> wow. I, I just recently started forgetting. I think Steph, no, Steph's the 10th. Steph's the 10th and Ava's the 7th. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's so they're crazy. three days apart. So she's you just a forgetting? Too? Bro, fuck you. I got a lot on my mind. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, because you know I always forget. That's the worst. You I think feel you like... forget? Ask Jose about me. What? Every oh, time I got a yeah. client in here. 
Oh, facts. I feel like there's time. I like. I think about it. I'm like, bro, this guy just said what he was doing this weekend. You asked him three times. Yep. Dang. I'm that you type of guy. Bro, no, yet? it's some people's voice so, that goes in one ear and out the other. Sometimes, I, sometimes, I sometimes, Cruz is so unpersonal. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. That's true. This is the thing. Jose, I seen him ask someone yesterday. <laughs> oh, how's this? And how's it? I'm like, damn. How the fuck did you remember that? I don't know why my memory. I will like I you won't, know exactly I tell clients, the last I tell all the time. I won't remember your name, but I will remember mm. certain facts that you say. I know your haircut, and I know what you did when you were coming here. I know. I don't even know where they're from. Like some of your clients, I know where they're from. I know when they just came back from a trip. I don't know why my memory That's is just like crazy. That. But because names, I do not know. I can't remember the last conversation. Every time you talk to somebody, you remember exactly where the last conversation left. That's out. why I'm I so busy. I'm very personal. Yeah. Fuck but you've personal. also, I feel like I've noticed it because you've been busier, like since I've been in school and you've been working a lot more than you normally do. You forget a lot of stuff now. Like even just stuff that Boy, he would do at home me. that he would typically do. He doesn't do it. Like it's almost like he forgets. You'll get used to it. Excuse me. You'll get used to this chair spinning. (laughs) Excuse me, brother. But you've already hit thirty, so. Wow. Why you gotta say like that? Because I feel like once you hit thirty, thirty-one is just twenty-one all over again. No. Right, Jose. Nope. Shut up, Jose. Halfway dead. Help me out, this bitch. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about that's messed up. No, I was just thinking about that. I saw this reel with Eddie Murphy. He was like talking to the camera. He's like seventy five. All you get is seventy five summers, seventy five winters, seventy five springs. He just kept saying seventy five. I'm like, fuck. That's all really we do get. And I, I was just thinking that before I came here. I'm about to be thirty. I'm damn near halfway done. Mm-hmm. That's just crazy. Think about it. Just so crazy. me thinking that. Makes me be bigger of an asshole to shit I don't want to fuck with. But look, mm-hmm. are you? Are yep. you? Have you ever been afraid of death? I'm terrified of death. I used to. I used to be terrified. Now I just accept it because I'm slowly. Like, I'm slowly starting to accept it. But I remember when I was little, bro. I would literally wake up and cry because I would think of my mom dying. Yeah, I've done that too. Or I've thought of like me dying. Yep. I literally think like death is my biggest fear. Fear. Mm-hmm. I had a dream that I was. I saw myself on the ground dead. That's wild. That shit, that shit scared the fuck out of me, And you don't do any drugs. None. That's wild. None. But I've it has never some in other, my life had that. It has some other type of meaning, though. That's what that is. You don't know. Yeah. You can Google it, probably does. Yeah, I'm always Googling my Erica dreams. Erica Google everything, bro. Don't say that. She Googles everything. That's the my, one thing I my love. My neck hurts. It's always I love, accurate. That's the one thing I love. Why does my neck hurt? That's the one thing I love about Stephanie. I oh. love that. Since the day Why? I met her, I'd be like, babe, what's that dude on that one movie? She's like, I don't know. Ten seconds later, so it's so and so. I'm like, see? <laughs> no. Love it, bro. Love it. My, bro, my girl, but look, she will Google the fuck out of anything. This is the thing. It. This is the thing. I love it. Babe, how, long, how, how, how fast do sharks swim? I don't know. She'll Google <laughs> yeah. it. She'll fucking Google it. I'm Jose, like, oh, I will. Look, 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 it's like 20 miles now. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you, babe. Erica <laughs> will guess what's wrong with you. Oh, you might be dying. <laughs> <laughs> you already did. Oh. Yes. <laughs> no, because one sure time, no. Are you sure that's not a... Uh, no, yeah. I'm a little it's bit like, of a... That means your leg will fall off in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> like... <laughs> oh. I don't like to tell Erica nothing when something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Because no, I just believe in that shit. stuff. Bro, no, because dead that's ass, a, that's I've had version. dreams. I've I've had dreams of me being cheated on, and then I was being cheated on. I've had dreams of so many things that actually that's happened. My that's my sister. Bro. So I believe that that's dreams mean something. You were you with somebody that's like my sister. Mm-mm. You said the other day Mm-mm. you, you dreamt some- about like snakes or something around you. I always dream about snakes around. Didn't rats. I tell you you have some snakes around you? Ooh. Ooh. They always have a meaning. Ooh. Ooh, just people. Now you gotta sit back and talk. Now you gotta sit back and think. I don't know. I ain't gonna. I ain't no snake. I'm a rat though. I'll snitch you out fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> hey, Cruz. Yeah, no, I just, that way, dog. I, I don't know. No sense. <laughs> I feel like I have to look everything up though, especially for dreams me though. Dreams do mean something. I oh, looked up. I looked yeah. up shit before. Where I'm like, I woke up. I'm like, why the fuck did I have that dream? Mm-hmm. Then I, I look it up. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. 
It was not. It was nothing what I thought it was. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've had I've dreamt about people, and I'm like, why the fuck did I dream about that person? It was like because yeah. I didn't. And in the dream, the Google said it's because you didn't have closure. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I do like closure. And then I don't really care for closure no more. Oh, dude, I need closure. I don't really care. For I need closure. I sweep a lot of shit on the rug with Erica. Yeah. I, I do that with a lot of people. No, that's different. When it comes to like family, when it comes to family and friendships, and like I need closure. But when it ch- comes to choosing your argument with your wife, it's like, ugh, okay, I don't really feel like dealing with this today. Oh my god, we can't even get into that conversation. Nope. First of all, nope. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> no, I just anyway, well, me I either. I don't know. <laughs> There's been plenty of friendships that I don't really care to have closure to. That I still don't. That's facts. And I'm fine. Like, I really don't feel anything. But when it comes to him, I need closure. Yeah, because you care about Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You give a fuck about it. Yeah. What do you need closure on? With you? Nothing. Like, just any time. If we're disagreeing on something, I just want us to have a... I want us to have a grown-up conversation to where even if we don't agree, we talk about it. You agree to disagree. Right. I don't like to not talk about it because it's still going to bug me. Even though it doesn't bug you. Stephanie, I'll talk about it Stephanie will talk about it. It pisses me off. I'm like, I, I can see I, on your I face. Give, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's I give wrong? Erica the silent what's treatment. What's wrong? I'm not, dude, I'm the type to like poke you in the face. What's wrong? I know. What's wrong? You do that shit in here all the time. Because the thing, about, just, the thing it's just talk thing about, about it. You're grown ups. The thing, the Erica, thing about, you can't talk about stuff. No, because you know what I just learned today, though? If you even just like say how you feel, if you just express it, it doesn't linger in your mind. So you don't, I don't know if you know, but sometimes you act a certain way, like as a, a person, you act a certain way <laughs> or you, your, your energy is off because you have that in your mind still, but you just haven't expressed it. But if at least you express it, that's facts. you get it out. There's been times when you've been annoyed with me and I can tell yes. but then after you say it, you start getting happier. Cause you let it out. Y'all lying on me, man. I ain't lying. I spent a lot of time with he's you. He's so calm. <laughs> I know. Sometimes you're just like, okay. Jose, uh, well, he's here. Jose, Jose want to be my work wife, Eric. Can you hear that? I am your work wife. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a good job, babe. <laughs> it's just that I know you best, so I know what he deals with, too. You don't even know me, dog. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I just don't know. One thing that I always... Who's, I, how do I say this? He's the only dude I talk to about, like, my family drama and shit. And he's the only one that can give me, like, A1 perspective. Like, he'll tell me the truth. So this whole... Did he tell you what's going on with my cousin? No. no. Not really. No? Mm-mm. I can't explain it to her because I can say, <laughs> green eyes. And then his other cousin. And then <laughs> <laughs> well, it's basically... So one of my cousins punched another one of my cousins, green eyes, like, a couple years ago. Because just to get perspective. <laughs> That's why just to get perspective. Just to get perspective. A couple oh, yeah. years ago, over <laughs> over my other other over my other cousin's wife, because she just talks crazy when she gets drunk. Wait, hold on. So your cousin, that's a male. They're both males. So my cousin punch the other one. You know what? Let's just say names. Fuck it. My cousin Gabriel mm-hmm. mm, has a wife it's name. Spicy. Yeah, here. has a wife. Has a wife. Her name's Paulina. Mm-hmm. So mm. Gabe, uh, Paulina, and my cousin Manuel got in an argument, like a little debate or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Paulina felt disrespected and she started acting up because she was drunk. And then that led to my cousin Gabriel punching my cousin Manuel mm-hmm. in the face over over his wife mm-hmm. being too much. That was like a couple of years ago. And my family swept it under the rug. He, Gabriel, just tried to rush me and try to fight me because I was getting into it with Paulina. This past mm-hmm. weekend. Was she drunk again? Yep. That's the, that's where I cut it off. Yeah. And yeah. then and then Gabriel and doing that knocked down uh Manuel's sister and my little sister mm-hmm. trying to get to me. You say little sister like you have another sister. Little sister. It's your only sister, Jose. Yeah, my little sister. Shout out Jose's sister, boy. That's my, my dog. <laughs> what do you mean? I she can have older snacks. Sister. I can have an older sister. I can have a little sister. No, you have one sister. Just say my sister. My little sister. You have one sister. Because she's older than me, and she's like, damn near would be yours. Wait, age. I have a question. Yeah. Do most of those oh. like altercations happen when someone's drinking? Yep. Okay, that's exactly why they probably don't watch these. 
But that's exactly why I don't like to be like around my watch. uncle. They're going to watch. Whatever. They ain't going to watch this shit. I love my they uncle, make, but I'm I don't like it. to be around him. Like the combination of my uncle, well, my that, grandma, my mom, my sister. And that's, what, and that's what me and my sister were talking about. That's what it got to. So like if we're at a, we're going to be at the family event, but as soon as it gets to like people drinking, yeah. my sister's like, I'm going to just leave. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I respect that. Yeah. I could be, I could be around it because I can handle my alcohol. Right. If you like. The only reason I didn't fight him, my adrenaline wasn't high because I didn't really feel threatened. And his daughter was standing right next to me. Like, she was all on my leg. Mm. And I felt like he was going to rush me. We we're going to fall on her. So I just picked his daughter up and took her to the kitchen. And she was crying and she was all scared and shit. But, like, my family, my aunts, I should say, are, and my some of my cousins are trying to sweep it under the rug. Mm-hmm. And then it's like one of those things where I'm like, I've never dealt with this. But it's also like a big fuck you. And so yeah. that's why Yeah. the only really person I can really talk to about it is this guy. And he tells me, he's like, fuck that fool. <laughs> I, I can't be around, Z. Huh? I can't be around those type of shit. No, he doesn't. Yeah. I don't, I don't like to be around stuff like that. I don't like to be around it either. Like, bro, you know why? I talk, like, Erica, when I tell you I was calm, I was, you can you can say all this shit about me. You can start talking about me. Doom, you can say whatever the fuck you want about me. As soon as you start attacking my sister, as soon as you're mm-hmm. doing all that other shit, it's like, bro, you need to relax. You need to calm down. And then she started yelling at me saying that I need to stop being a victim. I'm the victim. I was like, all right, bitch, you want to talk? That's what I said in my head. I didn't say it out loud. Because I was still trying to respect Gabriel. I'm yelling yeah. at his wife. I'm yelling at your wife. I'm still trying to be respectful mm-hmm, to you. Mm-hmm. And then just out of nowhere, he just rushed me. But my adrenaline wasn't high. I would. I didn't feel like I needed to fight. It was weird. It was a weird ass feeling. I feel like that's growth though, because you really don't. You don't have to fight. But there's people that are stuck in their ways though, and they like that. See, they like it's just wild. But I, I can't see certain stuff like that because it'll bother me. Oh, dude, I'm because, bothered. You know, I'm I look so at bothered. Jose like like family. So. If I see something like that and I understand that's his family, but it, mm-hmm. I would feel offended. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? No, I'd be like, like kick his ass, Cruz. <laughs> I just couldn't. I that's, couldn't see yeah. That shit like that. No, because I feel like even with you and like your whole sister thing. Oh, you told me about it. Because I really asked him, I'm like, you ever had that happen? He's like, hell yeah. But then that shit's, that, that shit's even wilder, what he said. But it's like, it is, this has never happened in my family because how, like we we're talking about, we literally live five minutes from each other. Mm-hmm. We're so close. We've been up each other's ass since I was fucking born. So for this to happen, it's never happened before. Like, even my uncle, Manuel's dad, doesn't know how to f- handle it. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know how to handle it. Like, he's See? upset, but it's also like, what the fuck do you do? Right. See, but the, the situation I had, I moved away, and then I came back, and it's like, I forget that. That shit can be like this, you know what I mean? Like yeah. when you when you have a break from that shit, and then you go it's back toxic. into it, it's like yeah. And I think that's why my sister's so tough. excited to just like mm-hmm. it's just energy, yep, bad energy, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to, like I just want to drink comfortably. I want to have a good time comfortably. Like it's not, and it's not even everybody. Like me and Manuel can get drunk and have a great time. Brisa, uh, everybody. It's just when th- when that that woman got drunk. She was. She got in my face trying to settle a, a a beef I had with her, and all I told her was, "We can talk when you're sober," and she just didn't want to. She's just like, "No, I'm going to talk about it now," and then it just escalated. Which I feel like he should have said something to her, but he won't. You know, he won't. Yeah, and it's that's... not even about checking. It's about like, no, but... babe, like do this yeah. another time. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because I'm a big believer. Like your wife, not even your. I guess you. You can say Represent girlfriend. You. Represents you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you represent Cruz. When Cruz is not around, you represent him. When you're not around, he represents you. That's how I tell Stephanie, and that's how I believe, and that's how it is with everybody in, in our family. But I don't know why with her, like, uh, he, I think, like, she just brings the worst out of him. And I feel like he just has to feel like she's he's defending her honor, and mm-hmm. that means he has to beat us up. And this yeah. is our older cousin. He's, he's our older cousin. This is a guy I've lived with. Uh, like been through, been through shit with him, like everything. Mm-hmm. His mom, like I lived with him and his mom for a little bit and everything, and he still tried to beat my ass over Dang. this chick. It's crazy. Yeah. That's, but I mean, it just sounds toxic in general. 
Erica, just 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 so you know, I represent you well. When you're not around, <laughs> okay. I represent well, you. I hope so. And, and it was funny, it's like when at that at the it was cause it was Gabriel's little brother's twenty first. But I was there by myself because Stephanie was at another uh, fa- one of her family parties. Mm-hmm. And even then, I'm like, dude, I wasn't doing nothing. I didn't come here no bad blood. I was sharing. Uh, I bought a bottle. I was sharing my alcohol with everybody, trying to bring everybody together, have a good time, this and that. And it fucking backfired. Yeah, but see, that's what I used to hate, though, is that like if I mentioned it to like my mom and be like, well, because that's happened before, actually, with my aunt. Mm-hmm. Or like my aunt made a comment like when we got married and she was drunk. She came in. I went to go visit them in Washington. Um, or I think we went to, like, Spokane or something to go visit them where they live. Yeah. And she came in the house to my sister's house because we all went to my sister's house and she was drunk. <laughs> and the first thing she says is, like, oh, something about, like, oh, well, maybe I'll be invited to your wedding next time or something like that. Yeah. And it's that's exactly what I mean. So I literally told my mom, I said, if she says one more thing to me, like, I'm leaving. Like, I, that's not what I came here for. This yeah, is exactly that's how, why I moved away. my sister's on right now. But my mom will just be like, oh, Erica, like, she's, you know, she's just drunk. that's how my mom is right yeah. now, too. Like, my mom, like, she, like she's going to watch She's gonna watch this, but uh, my sister has told her this. She's like, you don't defend me and Jose. You don't defend us as your mm-hmm. children. I'm like, as your children, you we don't, we feel like you don't have our backs. Mm-hmm. And it's true. Everybody, like, Stephanie sees it. Everybody sees it. So it's like. I'm not about choosing sides. I don't really believe in that. But now it's getting to a point where I'm like, if you fuck with them, just fuck with them. Yeah. Just stay with them. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You want to be with them? Be with them. I'll still be your son, but it's also like. You're going to lean back a bit. Just stay over there. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like. Hey, did your mom watch this podcast? Yeah. All of them? All of them. Yeah. But you know what? I feel like they don't. Like, even with my mom, I don't think that my mom, (laughs) like, doesn't like love me any less or anything like that it's just i no, feel it's like not she... about love it's more of like i just don't feel like you got my back right but i feel like it's just like was... they're so used to that that to them it's like oh well it's family like you just no, need to family, let it go I, I you know what i mean in the past podcast. yeah family, family don't mean nothing if it's, there's no respect mm-hmm. that's facts bro there's they don't mean a damn motherfucking thing if there's no respect yeah you cuss girl i was <laughs> Like, bro, I respect every, I respect everybody right. until they disrespect me, and then yeah. that's when I'm like, all right, cool. This is where we're at. You don't respect me. I don't respect you. Mm-hmm. That's why I am too. Yeah. So, it's it's to the point where like it's affecting my sister, and she's like you said, she's the only sister I have. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> she's like she's the only sister I have. She's the only one I care about. So it's like if my mom doesn't want to have our back, then you don't have to have mm-hmm. her back because yeah. I'll have my sister's back. Because I, I didn't even know he knocked her down. Because then that changes even more shit for me. Mm-hmm. That changes even more stuff. Like, I don't want to see you. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to see you. And if you are around me, I'm a, I'm, I'm going to make it uncomfortable mm-hmm. before you even have your first beer. Because I want to see how you are when you're sober. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to see how you are when before you get the liquid courage of trying to protect your fucking second wife that you gave papers to. <laughs> fucking idiot. I gave you papers, dog. I love you, dog. Don't say that. Yeah, I love you, dog. I don't care what you're talking about. Oh, my God. Yeah, but but at the end of the day, I even told uh, Gabriel's mom, I'm like, I love and respect your son. I hope we can get along. But from here on out, it's gonna. I'm going to let it be what it is. Yeah. Yeah, because you're not going to just... I don't think it's I'm like putting under over. the like, rug, the, the but whole... you're also not going to... No, yeah, I'm not going to... You know how to... Yeah. Because that's the, the only reason, like, I think that's the only reason Polina got mad is because I wasn't accepting her apology. Mm-hmm. Never once out of her mouth did I hear, I'm sorry. It, it was more of like, did you really think I'd say that? You really think I would say that? And all I wanted to hear was, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Never said it. Never said it. I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. And she yeah. went inside crying, doing all this bullshit. And then, yeah. That's probably why she's drinking. Cause she Dang. knows she's... She said she admitted she it. She's she like, she's issues. like, I'm drunk right now, and this is why I want to talk to you because I have courage as I'm drinking. And I told her we can talk about this when you're sober. I'd rather have this conversation when you're sober. I'm, we're adults. Mm-hmm. You're a mother. I'm a father. We can talk. But she didn't want to. She's like, no, you're gonna be an asshole. I'm like, I'll be a little bit of an asshole. <laughs> well, yeah, because like you know, because the only reason I stopped fucking with her is because she talked shit about my kids. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't even have any type of communication. <laughs> you think I'm, I'm hard. Right no, hmm? no. I'm your eyes for look sure. a little red. You're drunk. Ask Avery. I'm the the coldest person probably 
It was like my boy. It was, like, it was like what my boy Javier just texted me today. He said, he's like, knowing you, you're the sweetest, gentlest you mm-hmm. man. You get along with everybody. You're 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 like you. You're not a bad dude. But once that shit flips, mm-hmm. it can flip really fast, and it can go dark really fast. Yeah. Because I was in the last podcast, I was explaining how like I don't trust anyone at Ava School because I, you know, that's my baby. So it's like. For him to, like, see that, and he knows me to the core, like, I don't know why these people think they can just talk about my children and think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not just going to sweep this under the rug. Yeah, no. Not at all. Like, this is going to die with me. You're drunk, bro. (laughs) Am I? I I wouldn't know, dude. You know how how I know Stephanie's drunk? She's like, I can't feel my fingers, babe. (laughs) Can you feel your fingers? For sure. Okay. You're good. You want a refill? No. You still got a whole bottle. I don't know if he... I don't know. He just looks like... Honestly, relaxed. I have never <laughs> seen Cruz drink ever, ever, ever. I have. Hey. He acts like that. If, and then this is we just, just pop bottles in here, bro. <laughs> he just acts like We chill. just pop bottles in here. Champagne. Come on. No. That champagne I got you is good, I'm about too. to be 31, dog. I'm about to be how do you feel, so how, how do you, feel how do you feel about turning 31? Yeah, how do you feel about 31? Was it Your first like, year into a 30. I feel like it's just moving fast. Like, I'm to the point where my kids are getting older. Like, mm-hmm. it's just like. Yeah, y'all leaving the, care you know of the I mean? girls to be by the, like, they can take care of themselves. I know. It's wild. They're just like, but, hey, but I, I know how to feel, use the microwave now. That's just crazy. I also feel happy for y'all because then y'all can actually, like, do shit. Yeah. that's. I was just telling him that on the way here. I was like, oh, my God. Now we don't have to ask. I have a friend that usually watches them. Yeah. Like, we don't even have to ask her to watch the kids anymore. Yep. I can't wait for that. Ava, take care of your brother. We're going to be back, bro. Where y'all going? This Don't worry about wonderful. it. <laughs> That's just wonderful. You ain't got to tell him nothing. So we'll what's next at 31? Then what? Um, what's after the next 31, four years? I mean, when you're going to... Next four years? Yeah. Well, you'll be out of school, so we'll probably have a house. Because that's what you want. Yep. I don't want a house. Get a townhouse. You know what? I just Why? want the I part want that I want. I want it's a not builder. too expensive. And I just want to chill. I just want to build my own house. I actually came to that conclusion. What? I don't mind a townhouse, but I'm so... Look, this is my thing. I have worked my ass off to even get to where I'm at now. If I can't change the counters the way I want it, or the walls... Oh, you can do that with a house. You can do that with a townhouse. Yeah, you pick the... But the... it's connected to another house. Not always. Not always? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the only kind of townhouse I would ever buy. Nah. Uh, to me, a townhouse is like you really don't have a backyard. Like, you have a little bit of a backyard and a little bit of a front yard, but like, if you build it from, from, even if you get an older house, you can make it how you want. No, I don't want an older house. But Chandler's expensive, bro. I know. I don't think it's going to be Chandler. We're literally considered the I'm most thinking... expensive place. It's fucking stupid. I remember I used to tell people I was from Chandler and they thought it was ghetto. Now they think I'm rich. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> No, seriously, they it's like the new Scottsdale is what it is. Ba- that's exactly what people mm-hmm. tell us. Like, and it got to the point where I told Steph, "You tell me where you want to live, and I'm cool with it. I don't give a fuck where we live. I don't care. The further, the better. Honestly, I live in Goodyear. I don't give a fuck. Like what your client said, I live. I live over there. Those houses are cheap. I ain't yeah. trying to yeah. live over there. I live over there, bro. The I love yeah. Chandler, dog. I'll, the I'll live in like though. the the Tempe, like right up to one on one. I'll live in the little piece of Gilbert. What about that's Queen not too Creek? Far. Chandler's the same as everywhere. Chandler's Queen the Creek? same as everywhere. Hell no. Queen Creek's pretty cool. I ain't going to lie to you. The houses are so nice. Queen Creek's nice. I ain't going to lie to you. It's far. It's like no, it's not. 25 minutes. If I want to go to the airport, I think this is a decent drive. Well, then you better have a million bucks because that's the kind of house I want is going to be a million bucks in Chandler. Yeah, Buster. Well, you're about to be working good. And you better have be a million home. bucks. I'm working, about to be a stay-at-home dad. Working the microwave. Me and Jose are about to just play video games for the rest of our lives. Old men. Hey, let me know, bro. I'll, I'll go half I on an acre. That. That would, I'll that go half on stress. an acre. We can build houses. It's cheaper It's cheaper to build a house. That's what I'm trying it's to just say. Really I would rather build my land, own house. Land in Chandler, though, is fucking stupid. But, Chandler, but okay. I would rather have the house that I want... Like, my counters, my cabinets, everything. What you're saying comes with any new build. That's fine. That's what I want. I want a new build. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That comes with any new build. The carpet, the counters, the... I don't uh, want carpet. Huh? I don't want 
any carpet. Why? She want all hardwood floors. I want floors. all hardwood flooring. Hey, I carpet, you don't get dirty as hell. I want to put like my own rug, you know, like. Ah, fuck all that. If I need to. No, my kids are clumsy. They're going to break their shit. That's what I think. At least carpet in the rooms, no? I just don't I've, like Have you ever had it. tile in the bedroom? I don't want tile. I want like. Floors cold. Cold <laughs> as fuck, boy. Bare feet. Bro, it's nasty. It's Bare like feet. dusty. I want like, like that gray flooring. I don't remember what it's called. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. It's almost like tile, but it looks like kind of like wood. Yeah. But it's gray. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I want like marble counters. If we're up to I just, you can have what you want. I just want a car, bro. I just want my He's car. been talking. He, he, he's so different, Jose. Actually, he's I want to know your opinion about that because. What? Avery. See, I think about like a house. She's the only one that called me Avery. Only people that know me call me Avery. No Avery is always thinking about a car. Like what next car he can get. He could buy. He could. He just got that Honda last that year. And then now he wants another car. If he could, he would get another car by next year. I don't care about a car like that. I want my house first. Then I'll think about upgrading my car. Well, the good thing uh, I would say there's a good You're thing the about opposite. the good, good thing about Cruz is that he still puts a house in the same bubble. Like, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a house before he gets that car, for sure. But that's he, true. He because since I met him, he's wanted the same fucking Lexus. I don't know what Lexus it is, but <laughs> it's been the same one. Yeah, I just want the Lexus IS. Yeah, dog. yeah, he's been telling me that since I met him. Yeah, that's it. I ain't gonna lie, cause when I was young, when I was younger, I built, I built up a truck and had all that shit. But as soon as I got kids. I'm like, I want my four cylinder. I'm chilling. I curb check my car. I don't give a fuck about my car. <laughs> I, don't even, I can't even remember the last time I washed my car. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit. I'm more like you. I want a house. Yeah. But I just, if I'm, I don't see no problem with him wanting a car because he still has the house in it. I yeah, you're I don't know. What do you mean? You don't I don't know. feel like he really wants a house like that, though. Like, you, you, know, feel, you know what scares I feel me like, about no, a house? No, 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 exactly. Let him tell you because if the he could live in our apartment. No, the, what scares him about a house is the horror stories the clients tell him. He just said, I he got just a said lot a story of today. Yeah, you just said that today. That tell the same a but, couple. But, but what you don't understand is that's covered by insurance. Exactly. I don't give a like, fuck. Like, he'll be like, no. It's the same thing. It's the same <laughs> thing with apartments. No, but exactly. But that's if he could, sh- if he could, I'm telling you, I know him like the back of my hand. If he could live in our apartment forever, like if he had to. Tell him, girl. He would be just fine, just cozy yeah, and fine. That. I can't, I can't do it. I literally feel like I'm already, like every day, I'm like, oh my god, these carpet, this carpet, like it suffocates me, and all I can think about the is the house, the house, the house. <laughs> carpet. He's thinking about you love a car. Yeah. I love carpet. <laughs> I no, I it's hate like carpet three now. years old. Now that I have carpet and. I see how dirty it Allergies gets over time. Allergies and everything. I don't like carpet. Well, it's different because y'all have carpet in the living room and all that shit. Everywhere. But carpet in the Kitchen. rooms. That's where I would want carpet. In the room. See, I'm probably okay with that. But, but everywhere else will tile. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I want... We're the same way because I don't want a house. I'd rather build a townhouse. Mm-hmm. Only because, like, I don't want to deal with the yard. I don't Thank deal you. Thank you. But I know how to mow lawns. Girl, we don't even have no, lawns. No, no, no. I ain't never seen Erica but mow not, a lawn in my life. But I'm not saying I'm not I saying have. I'm not saying mowing the lawn and keeping maintenance is hard. It's just like ugh. Yeah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> but I love to do that though. Like I'm a homemaker. I like but, to, I would go pull the but weeds. As women, you y'all know? say that now until y'all get tired Thank of you. doing Thank you, Jose. face all day. No. See? You get home. No, yeah. No. You get home. You yeah. Get, you're like, I don't want to do nothing. I'll do it tomorrow. That's fact. And then tomorrow you get plans, and then yes. oh, I'm going to do it the next day. And then boom, you got a big and ass. Yeah, you're going to be hustling like us. It's hard, bro. <laughs> you're going to be tired as a motherfucker. But you think I I'm tired all the time. I just don't see the value yeah. in like, it doesn't feel value. Like, I don't know. It doesn't feel the same when you have something that like somebody still like, like somebody still has to come in and clean the pool. And you got to share a pool with other people. I'm fine with that. I don't want to do that anymore. I, I didn't work for that. My, I don't want my own pool. That shit's I expensive. want my own pool. You see this? I want my own pool I'm so I can have a party no, no, no. This for is my good. kids. This is good because this should make you want to hustle and work more, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just yeah. keep it. Just keep it. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Just like, he's always it. like, oh, is waxing like what you, like, is it your passion? I'm like, yeah, it is. And it's going to make the money that I need to have the life that I want for my kids. Like, I want to be able to be that family that has 
a party instead of having it in the back pool, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I want it to be in my pool, in my backyard, with my decorations. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that. If they have, like, a graduation party, I want to be able to have it in my place and not have to worry about if there's other people in the there's pool. Nothing, I think there's nothing wrong with it because you... It's just motiv- It sounds like it's just motivation. This yeah. is what you want, then go get it. Mm-hmm. It's the same people that drive Lamborghinis. I want a Lambo. Okay, they go work get it. For it. Go yeah. work. Get it. Yeah. You want your Lexus? Go get it. Yeah. You can get it now. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. I'm tempted, boy. Bro, everything and the worst fucking thing I hear crew say, I'm acting broke. I'm like, oh my God, dude, shut up. He I'm tells everybody we're broke. broke. I'm acting broke. Bro, you know what I do? That shirt looks new. Those I'm- shoes look new. Hey. Oh yeah, he has time. clothes. He I know still he has, has tags on it that he's never worn. But look, everything I wear on the podcast <laughs> is pretty much new. <laughs> <laughs> but look, everything I wear is old. I haven't bought new shit in a while. Well, it's old Same. because I w- bought it a long time ago. But he doesn't go. Anywhere. I don't really wear clothes like these every day. I wear the same clothes to work. Facts every day. I literally. But look, when my mom calls me, I make sure I ask her for money before she says anything because I know she's gonna ask eventually. For money, yep. he has all his family I do for that money every time. That's like, yeah, that's that's fact. how you stay in the game, boy. Mom. No, but then I ain't gonna like Cruz's sisters be calling her. Avery, send me twenty dollars. I need I my know. nails done. <laughs> Man, <laughs> the fuck you need your nails done for? <laughs> Thanks. No, but it's I. Well, my family's not like that. I've mm-hmm. asked like when I was younger, I did ask cousins for help. I paid them back all this bullshit, but now it's like I'd rather just like. You want mm-hmm. beer? I'll just go buy it. I don't want to, yeah. like, yeah. you know, like, you don't have to ask yeah. me for anything. Yeah, yeah I, don't, See, I try not to give people too, no money no more. Huh? I try not to give people money no more. I hate yeah. having cash, bro. I hate Thanks. pulling out my wallet and then the, all the cash I have because people think are like, oh, dude, this guy has money. He's being yep. stingy. It's like, no, I just need to deposit this and this goes to bills. Yep. And my cousin just yelled at me yesterday. He's like, Brian, you little... <laughs> I was like, bitch, you make more than a hundred thousand a year. I'm like, I don't know, I haven't done taxes. I don't know, dude. I don't know how much I make. <laughs> I don't know, dude. He's all upset because you gotta put your card info now. <laughs> like, I gotta make an appointment just to hang out with you. I'm like, this is my business, dog. This That's is business. Funny. This is business. I'm not That's just funny. out here yeah. just wipe like this have to ride for my family. Right. Yeah. Hey, it's been a long time since I had to ask anybody for money. Like, I try. I'll never ask nobody for money or help. Even if I'm struggling, bro. I will go to fucking, what's this shit called? A firm or some shit like yeah. that yeah. to pay something rather than going to ask my family. It's just Bro, thank one of those God. I don't like now. to owe Thank people. God I have never, I want to say never. I thank God since I've been cutting hair, I've never had to do that. Yeah. I think the only time was when I needed someone to live and uh, Adrian had my back with that. But other than that, I always made sure I paid everything on time, yep. paid my own shit. Paying my own food. Oh, you got food this time? I got food next time. Oh, you got the first round? I got the second round. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. I never, like, even to this day, every time I see this fool, I'm like, damn, I owe him money for a podcast shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I got to pay you that shit. Because it bugs me. That shit just, like, ir- like irks my head. I'll randomly wake up middle of the night. Oh, I owe Cruz $100. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I- I'm not the type to ask for money back anymore. Like, I'm not. If either. somebody owes me money, I don't. I don't ask. It is what it is. I'm really, really not care. like that either because I my my I guess my love language is I like giving gifts. Yeah. You could ask Stephanie. I bought her Yeezys and Dunks just because I had That's what money. I do for Erica sometimes. We were shopping around in Bur- <laughs> Don't don't start, man. I know she was right. And hey, you think Erica like these, these, and these? I'm like, I don't know, bro. I saw, I saw hey. these, these, and these. When I tell you, he came from around the corner. <laughs> At least six different pairs of Birkenstocks. Well, because like growing up, I don't know why my mom always took us shopping, and I always enjoyed shopping. Mm-hmm. I, know I, purses, I know about purses. I know about Tory Burch. I know about you do. Mar- yes, I want the Miller sandals. Okay, tell no. I just want a pair of black. Y'all hear this? Tory Burch Miller act sandals. like she ain't expensive. You know, she over here I running my pockets. Mom blue ones. Mm. Mm-hmm. And she was so she didn't appreciate them. Big food ass. <laughs> oh my god I want a pair so You're bad You're ungrateful man And they're not even that bad They're only 200 No and I get them In the store all the time too But I'm the type of person Which he knows Like Even though I know I could get them I just can't get myself To get them yet Cause I keep thinking yeah. I gotta finish school first Like Hold on Hold on Hold on When I met Erica She was in Ross Yeah Heavy Barefoot Looking around for shoes 
Bro, Ross is and now this is how she act because she moved to Arizona. Ross is popping. It's not since I moved to Arizona. Since she moved to Arizona, did she be acting real? I feel like, no, no, I feel like since she started Bourgeois. working at that store, no? Yeah. I think, yeah, like, yes, exactly. but... Well, that's different. Yeah. Okay, but it's yeah. because I learned yeah. to appreciate, yeah. <laughs> like, quality and brands and what's worth my money now. Because now I can't even imagine going into Ross. It's a wa- Every time I see people in there, I'm like, you're wasting your money. It's messed this up. stuff's trash. It's messed I'd up. Rather buy a I, of, I, I go to Ross all the time. I know. <laughs> I can't. I can't saying. do it. I can't. But that's why I'm trying to work so hard because I'm that kind of person. Like, I want to be able to buy everybody lunch. Like, people do that for me all the time. Let them. Starbucks. They buy me Starbucks. And it's like. Hey, if you don't ask. I don't ask. But I like that people. I feel like when people do that, they do that because they want to. And that's how I am. Like, I like to do things I want to, not because you ask me to do it. The way I grew up is because. The way I grew up, I feel like people hold that against me. So I never let people do anything for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want lunch? Nah, I'm cool. You want this? No, nah, yeah. I'm good. Even Cruz, you want what type of candy you want? I was literally like, do I really want him to buy me candy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do that too. Even at school, he knows. I'll be like, oh, you know, like they want to go eat somewhere or whatever. Yeah. It's that that feeling. Or like they end up buying me something without me asking. Yeah. That I feel like I have to do it back, you yeah. know? Yeah, but like I said, like... I used to go shopping with my mom all the time, and she's she's a, a brand whore. Mm-hmm. She, I literally bought her, me and my sister bought her a Louis Vuitton bag with a matching wallet for her 50th. Was it 50? Something like that. I told her, I'm 25 years old. This is the last person I'm buying you. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> sure enough, she wants a Gucci bag this year. I'm mm. like, no. I told you. What is it? Five years ago. <laughs> Here you got your Louis. Jose stand on his shit. <laughs> Hard. 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 Your sister was you just need in to my learn store something like from him, ago. Erica. You know why? Because every time the kids <laughs> ask something. No, my kids. No. No, my kids is different. Okay. <laughs> no, my kids is different. My kids that, is different. Because I want them to have yeah. what I didn't have. Yeah. Like even April just asked me right now, well, can you buy me a, a, a Cinnabon or whatever the hell before we get back home? And my heart like melts because it's like well, there's times where like with Ava and Ava just wants toys. Daddy, can you go to the store? I want a toy. I'm like, no, we ain't going to the fucking store. You want a toy? <laughs> mm-hmm. But like, there's times where I'm like, yeah, we can go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. then like, there's also like, I don't know. With Ava and Wolf, it's like, okay, y'all can get one toy, and I'm teaching them how to choose one. Just choose one, mm-hmm. a little one. Just choose one. But when it comes to like, dude, like Louis Vuitton, you know how much a Louis Vuitton wallet is? We were Taxi in Louis Vuitton. Lord. That shit was eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Taxi. And then the purse was over a thousand. Mm-hmm. And my sister, like, at the time, my sister didn't make money like that. I didn't mm-hmm. make money like that. But I'm like, this is what you want. And then now my mom wants a Gucci one. I'm like, why do you she want to have twins, man? She gotta have huh? twins. Tell her to get resale. Uh, you know how Dillage is doing that now. Really? Yeah. Reselling it. Yeah. Um. And she, uh, the lady told me she's like. These are, quote unquote, used, used only because they use them for like photo shoots or shit like mm-hmm. that. But because they were opened, they just discount them. Yep. Yeah. And I'm talking about they have like Burberry, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. I told my sister about it because my sister loves uh, like vintage Burberry and stuff. That's how, much she they, was... how much are they discounted? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask her the price. Mm. But that's probably why my sister went into your store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She got Dooney and Burke bags. She loves all that shit. Loves it. The Dunian Burke with a duck on it. Mm-hmm. I know. Yep. That's leather, boy. That's leather. Hey, you can't even, don't even try to front because I feel like when I Go first met you, me, you didn't even have like an actual style. Now you wear Birkenstock. I didn't lie to you. My brother, did, no, no, my I did brother the influenced me. I did the Birkenstocks. No. My client Kyle came in with the black ones that, like you got. He got black ones. And then I was like, ooh. The Boston's? Yeah. He has Bro, black I wore ones. the Boston's until I couldn't no more. And you're like, but should, he I had them, should I get them? He had them way before you. I know. Birkenstock's been a while for forever. Mm-hmm. I know. Because I, I thought it was because of me. Because I've been telling look, you I wanted Birkenstock's for the longest but look, time. When I met you, I had just moved to Washington. My brother definitely helped me with style. Mm-hmm. Because he, he gave me the West Coast shit. Yeah. It's so different though. And then I learned how to do the shit myself. Yeah. So we're still trying to take credit, boy. <laughs> Cruz hates that I never match. 
I don't care that you never match. You always say something. I've accepted it. All right. That's my style. It's okay. I do not like matching. Like, I don't feel like you always match. Sometimes you have like green shoes. Right now you don't match. Red shirt. Why not? Black and white, black and white. No, but sometimes he'll have like green white. sneakers on with like a red shirt and some black. Oh, that's too much. You know? That's too Why much. Why are you lying? Because you do do that. Because remember I used to tell you, I'd be like, when? oh, you don't match. See how Erica trying to. See, she trying to embarrass but it's me your right own now. So we're about to end this like, I, I, do, I love your style, but. Guess who's calling me? April. My child. Yep. <laughs> Dad, when you come home? So we're going to dinner tomorrow, right? Oh, are we? Are you good? Are you doing something? Genghis? Yeah, I, I guess, told him man. to tell you. Six. I told him that's where we're here's going. Here's the thing. I, here, <laughs> he here's the thing. I'm like, we're going to Genghis Grill. He's like, man, shit, maybe. That's what I told Erica too. But here's the thing. It's hard because I got to tell Jose, like, let's say we say 6.30. You're always late. You're always early. Yeah. So I have to say 7 to Jose. Well, I'm just going to be getting out of work. 6.30 to you because uh-huh. you'll end up getting there at 7.00. He'll end up. No, I'd get there at six thirty. <laughs> no, there's people, there's people where I'm like, oh, it doesn't really matter if I'm on time, because that's how Trona and and uh, and his girl are. They're always late, so I'm like, oh, mm. they just leave whatever time they set up, mm. and we get there at the same time. Yeah, it's facts. No, I'll be there at six thirty. No, she won't. I, I know for a fact. Store at five fifteen. I know today? for What's a today? fact Saturday? she won't. Sunday. Tomorrow Sunday. Saturday. Today, Saturday. I work till Saturday. five. Today Saturday. Yeah. He said, what's today? You said Sunday. Oh, I mean, sorry. Do you don't want to go on your birthday? I work. She has school. And I have school. Uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow, what time? Well, what time works? Anytime after 5.30. That works. 6.30? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Evening time. Because what? That's at she t- says 6.30. That's at Semi Marketplace, right? But Erica's going to be late. I'm telling no, you. I'm not. I- well, I Jose, gotta, look me in my eyes. Erica's gonna be late. I gotta, I gotta see because we have. What do we have tomorrow? Oh, we have shit tomorrow. I'm thinking about Monday. No, we don't have shit tomorrow. That, I, but let me double check with my wife because she fucking be telling me shit. You don't remember? Yeah. I told you this shit. That's yeah. how Erica be, boy. Oh, you told me that like two I'm, months ago. I gotta keep up with my job, my clients' times, my wife's times, and then she tell me some extra shit that, bro. And then you know I how my, remember. and then you know how my clients are complicated. Can you yep. tell me how good of a person I am? And then I still got to keep up with all that other shit outside yep. the house? It's fucking exhausting. Um, I have to keep up with employees. I got to remember stuff that they need. So? Stuff that we need for the store. Jose, you have my employees. Then my house. <laughs> then just my quit, kids. Just quit your job. Fuck it. Then you. Fuck it. We're in the same boat. See, I don't like uh, to swim. No, I'm not downgrading your job, but wait till you get clients. No, you can downgrade it all you want. Bro, I don't care. Clients, like having clients. Clients is rough, bro, because you got to learn their job. Like It's not even that. It's the just, time they go in, the time they're available, all that. I don't even think it's that. I just feel like sometimes it's just like they make it more complicated. Facts. Facts. Like, why is this client always late? This client's always canceling. Now I got to block mm-hmm. them. And yep. now I got to do this. Now I got to do that. It's like, yeah, it's I've exhausting. already been watching the cons of working for where I want to go because mm-hmm. there's a lot of cons. <laughs> what are the cons? <laughs> what are the cons? Well, they let you basically you have to eventually learn how to wax a Brazilian in 15 minutes. Bro, that's just why these, and these, you're good, back these to girls back. do it in like 10. Yeah. You're no, back to back 20. with clients huh? sometimes. They do it in 20. You said 15 last time. I'd be looking on the I looked on a thing. It says 20. But they be in and out like in a and out. Yeah. And then I saw that I saw I ran into this this Instagram. They put the whole wax just right, bow right there mm-hmm. on the gooch. I'm talking about all the way back, all the way thing. And then you take it out, and the lady took a picture of it. You can see the whole outline of the vagina, just yeah. hairy as shit. That's an expert, cause bro, that's just a what. Like I'm talking about cruise in the lips, in the lips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no so, nigga, man, I heard, so I've Bro. been reading about, I've been watching about that. I have to learn how to do it in 15 minutes. And then if you take walk-ins, because they take walk-ins, like mm-hmm. you have to be able to take walk-ins to get clients. Mm-hmm. People don't wash their ass, so there's going to be shit in there. And some Ooh. women are just not Ew. good hygiene. So there's like stuff going on in there and you got to still do no? it. Nope. Yeah. You cannot Ew. say no. So yeah. I already know. I'm like... I already know it's not going to be like a dream. And you want to do that? Yeah. On purpose? Because I want to do it on my own eventually. Like, I want a suite like this. You're going to go through a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. You're sick. Yep. Anyways, 
Well, it's about that time, Zay. Erica said she was gonna. She was You're gonna taking take us out, out, Erica. You said it. You said it, bro. Look, take us out. By the time this episode drop, I'm gonna be 31. So shout so me say out. Happy birthday. Shout out to me and me only. This is my episode, and that's it. Hey, Cruz is drunk right now. I'm faded, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Surfboard. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? <laughs> Go ahead. Take us out. Take us out. Take us out, Erica. Um, I don't know. Thanks for having me. <laughs> that ain't That's how it. you take us out. This is going to be on YouTube. <laughs> this is going to be on YouTube. This is going to be on for the say? world. Now you got to see that camera because that's the last one to die. <laughs> <laughs> this is Queso. Uh, Thank you for rocking Queso. with us. Appreciate thanks y'all. Thanks for kicking it with us. We appreciate y'all. Um. And uh, shout out our soon-to-be sponsor, I hope, one day. We out. Later, guys. Subscribe. (laughs) Yep. Spotify. I guess we're still going. You me? Apple. (laughs) You thought it was over, huh? Like, comment, subscribe. Hear us on all platforms. Spotify, Google. Okay. Okay. What is it? Apple Podcast. Talk your shit. Everything. Talk your shit, cuz. If you're going to talk shit about us, talk shit about us. Appreciate it. Appreciate Eric for coming. But tag me if you're going to talk shit, though. Yeah, please tag us because we love talking shit. Thanks. I will ruin your life. Because we'll get on your way, boy. Physically and mentally. Whoa. Whoa. All right, we out. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) We all going to eat. Grind till we got to go to sleep. Why do niggas always want to talk beef? Cause they never see a nigga in the streets. I be just coolin'. I don't really fuck with nobody. But if I came out, I'd probably fuck up the party. I'm just coolin'. I don't really fuck with nobody. And if I came out, I'd probably fuck up the party.